AJ Jacobs and Rivals.com. I'm talking to AJ Hodgkins, or right here for the UC Davis game 2016. Right. What's going through your head heading into this first game here? Uh, I'm just really excited. I mean, we were just practicing hard and trying to get better every day. But, uh, I mean, overall, I say I'm just really, really excited. So. <laughs> Uh, speaking of excited, last week the depth chart came out. And, uh -huh. You know, you're the number one at middle linebacker. Right. Uh, were you surprised, and how excited were you about that? Uh, I, I would say I was surprised. Yeah, I mean, I, I was pretty excited. I called my mom and told her about it and stuff. But honestly, it doesn't. I mean, I, I still got to prove it on the field, and, and I know we're gonna do a lot of rotating and exactly. stuff like that. So I mean, it's it's kind of is what it is. So huh. just happy to happy to be here. So. Sure. What, what was mom's reaction? Uh, she was really happy. She was happy. I, I, I had an idea I was going to get a lot of playing time this year, but I had no no idea where I was going to be at. So, Is it, I mean, extra special being an Oregon, Oregon guy to come here and, and be a star for the Oregon Ducks? Is that an extra special thing? Uh, I would say so, yeah. I mean, I mean, it feels good to have everybody kind of support me from back home and stuff like that. And I know my family's going to be coming up to a lot of games and stuff, so it feels, it feels real good. So, have you, Has your family started feeling the pressure of having to get tickets for people yet? Because they're yeah. going to feel it. It's already, been, it's already been a few arguments. So, I mean, it's like, because I only get four tickets, so it's like everybody wants to come, everybody wants to bring so-and-so and everybody. So it's just like I, at, at this time right now, it's just kind of my mom, my grandma, my dad, and, uh, and then I got like an extra ticket. It, so whoever kind of you know what I mean. So you got other things to think about than that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. It, it, exactly. I'm telling everybody I gotta focus. Like I gotta focus on what I'm doing. So yeah. But it, it's cool. Well, that's one of the drawbacks. But on the other hand, you know, you get all these guys you that know you uh -huh. get to see you play. That's kind of gonna kind of be a cool thing. Right. No. Absolutely. Yeah. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be exciting. So at the same time, it's like almost a little bit of extra pressure. You know, because you put it on yourself. That no uh -huh. one else is doing it. But it's like you want to do so well in front of these guys that know you so well. Do you feel that pressure? Uh, I would say uh, I would say I, I just want to do do good not only not only for like my family but for my team you know I don't want to let people down just in general so yeah. so I mean actually I, I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself okay now transferring here is different you didn't come here as a freshman obviously uh -huh. um, when do you think you realized how well you were fitting in with this university and this team uh, I mean the first few weeks everybody was cool and then uh, just down the stretch like as we got to do more stuff as a team and stuff like that and spring ball and then uh, along the summer I mean fall, fall camp has been huge for me because I mean now I'm really part of the team because we're getting into the to the season and stuff like that so I mean everybody's been really cool and welcoming and so so I mean I feel like I'm a part of the team yeah. Sweet. Um, I remember I talked to you the first day of fall camp at that media day thing and kind of talked about, you know, middle linebacker kind of needs to be a, a leader of sorts. You uh -huh. know? Even though you're new, right. so people look to the middle linebacker. Mm -hmm. You find yourself developing as a leader here. Uh, I would say so. I, I would say I would say a lot, a lot since uh, fall camp has started just because I, I kind of been forced into that role. I mean, like it's up to the Mike linebacker, the linebackers in general to get the calls on the field and just kind of get everybody together. And, and I, I feel like I've been doing, doing, doing a little bit better at, at that. So. It'll come for sure. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't, it's not automatic because uh -huh. of the terminology. Or anything, right, right. Do you have a guy that when they're running at you, you're like, shit. Okay. I mean, you're like, dang. <laughs> you know, like, Royce Freeman's a load. Uh -huh. I, I mean, he's, I, I remember scouting him in high school and he was, you know, just watching his muscles like, wow, it's almost an NFL body. Right. Do you ever think that or is it too fast to think like that? <laughs> No, I feel like I just snap and I just go get to the ball. Like, like when I see the ball, I get happy. Like, I get excited to, to like run into people. I, I like running into people. So it's the, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I would say I would say that when I see, I like to avoid the linemen, and then and then when I get to the ball, it's, it's it, I get happy. So I mean, that's that's kind of what it is. Nice, perfect mentality for the middle linebacker. Right. Uh, last few things I got for you is that uh, last few years uh, the the defense has not been the greatest tacklers. How do you consider yourself as a just straight up tackler? Uh, tackling, I've been doing a lot better since the spring. I think in the spring I struggled. My feet were kind of bad and all over the place. And I think fall camp down the stretch I got a little bit better. Stopped missing so many tackles. Started fitting people up in practice. And I think that's been big for me. Uh, I, th I think as a team we've been doing pretty well too. I mean, so it's not too many times we get to go live, but exactly. I, I feel like fitting people up we've been doing a pretty good job. So. Well, I guess UC Davis you're live as heck, so that'll be fun. Oh yeah, very live. Yeah, <laughs> very live. <laughs> okay. What still do you need to work on? What would you like to see yourself get better at? Uh, playing on the line of scrimmage. A lot of times we're, we're on the line of scrimmage, and as a linebacker, it, it's, it's not it's not like uh, I don't feel natural on the line. I, I, so I, I would say work, working uh, on the line of scrimmage and stuff like that. I would say tackling is huge. I mean, everybody can work on tackling, and then just reading and reacting, and that, that, that's kind of the three things I need to work on. So okay, yeah. if you were to grade yourself on how well you know the playbook, what grade do you give yourself? A uh, B. A B. Okay. Yeah, I can get back. Uh, Cause it could get better. I mean, I, I would say I would say I know the the playbook 
pretty well. But at the same time, like Coach, I'll give Coach Hoka a because he he invented the playbook, so he probably knows a lot better. I don't know it as well as him, so I can't give myself an A. Right. Okay. Last question. I got I have two more questions. But the no, second to last one. <laughs> all good. You're you're good. All right. Second to last one is that um, you know so many colleges wanted you. Oregon um, was just one of them. Come you know as a transfer, they you were like one of the highest rated middle linebacker transfers, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Do you ever regret your decision to come here out of all your choices? Uh no no not at all. I mean I love it here. I, I fit in. I feel like uh, I feel like coaches are giving me a fair opportunity, and I feel like they give everybody a fair opportunity. Uh, so I mean I, I love it here, and like you said, it's close to home and stuff like that. But so I, I mean I, I have nothing negative to say about it. So okay, last thing I got for you, oh, and good. this is actually the hardest. I usually ask freshmen this, but you're kind of this is the only time I'm going to ask you this. Right, right. Um, Jeff Lockett asked it like 30 times during his career. But the question is, tell me one thing about yourself, Duck fans don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, what don't people know? I'm, I'm by far the best player, uh, in, probably in the state, at, at 2K, 2K uh, 16. I would say so. I would say so. Now, I was talking to Spring Arion, Springs a while ago, and he was telling me yeah. his prowess up in there. No? No. Nah. Arion and Ugo swear to, that they're the, they're the best uh, 2K players. The, the one player that's beat me on the team was Terry Wilson. So if anybody has anything to say, Terry could Terry – could, kind of vouch and say that he's the best but he hasn't gave me a rematch so but but i haven't played arian but ugo beats arian and, and I, I i dominated ugo I, I seen one of his interviews he was talking crazy yeah. but yeah so but it's I, amazing right the difference you hear talking to one guy versus another guy. oh yeah it, it, uh, me and ugo played three times and two times i beat him by more than 20 points so it's yes yeah, it's, it's not even a competition okay. yeah okay. So. well i have to filter this stuff better when these guys do their talking right Thank you, right <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Oh, to talk no, to all good, man. Appreciate it. We'll do it after the game. Yeah. <laughs>